Now, I'm not sure if anybody would actually be interested in this. I have an air conditioner here, so that's why I'm taking up my space, that mess of cords. But two computers I use, basically, there's the mini, the screen. Down under there, where you really can't see, is a Power Mac G5 late 2005 dual core 2.3 gigahertz monstrosity connected to that 20 inch Apple cinema display and keyboard all that kind of good stuff uh, I tend to use videos on that one even though I have a 2010 Intel Mini right there just because of disk space, this thing has massive amounts of disk space. Two hard drives, I think each one's like a terabyte. And you can see it's dual. Yeah. Eight gigabytes of DDR2. Running on a Leopard 10.5 Power Mac 11.2. Um, serial ATA. One terabyte and a one and a half terabyte. This is just extra space, the one and a half terabyte. So it has tons and tons of room. The Mini still has its original, I think it was like a 320 gigabyte or something, so it doesn't have as much room. And I, the, this iPhone 5 shoots HD video. Just for fun, I'll show you what video card I have. The rare and elusive NVIDIA GeForce 7800 GTX 512 megabyte. As, uh, said right there. Very rare to actually find uh, one that's been flashed, uh, especially with the appropriate creation of the, the ROM to run it, since it was never actually made by Apple. This was something somebody created from it. It was a Quadro FX 4500 ROM, edited, edit, edited it so that the this card would actually get the proper, you know, use and specifications out of it, performance-wise, over the other ROM. Um, I know sometimes people can't find it. I actually have a copy of the ROM somewhere, so if anybody actually sees this and is dying to get their hands on it, let me know and I can email it to you. Um, and it's kind of taken, you know, about an hour of joy. Is a 2005 computer. How many computers from 2005 would you even consider editing HD video on? I can't think of many. Um, this one, I'll be it. You know, the second fastest Power PC Mac ever built. Uh, I think or second or third. And the one above it was the quad 2.5 gigahertz, two dual, two dual core processors. I don't know if the 2.3 gigahertz was faster than some of the old 2.5 gigahertz dual processor single core, two single core processors. This is a single processor dual core kind of odd 64-bit thing. I don't know if any software actually was really built to take advantage of that. I bet you this would be going faster if iMovie was instead of just 32-bit. I don't know why am I ranting on about this. I don't even know why, to be quite honest with you. I doubt anybody cares, but... Kind of an interesting 
interesting. I suppose this was the kind of a rare computer. Well, I don't know. You see more of the quads than you do of the regular 2 gigahertz and 2.3 gigahertz dual core. Um, machines, yeah, nothing is running PowerPC 64 bit. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I doubt that thing will actually take an hour, probably more like 45 minutes. It went from two hours to an hour in about five, ten minutes. So I think that's a worst case scenario thing right there. But I don't know. I just people. A lot of people were telling me, "Oh, sell this thing while it's still work." Back when before Snow Leopard came out and this was left behind. Oh, get rid of this while you still can, while it's still worth something. But and I have the matching mouse, the matching keyboard, monitor, machine, it's all in good shape. You know, I pretty much maxed it out, although I didn't put 16 gigabytes of RAM in it, I have 8. But, you know, the fastest video card it would take, you know, big hard drives. I actually bothered to put the official Apple, they call the, the airport card, and I had to go buy what they call their runway card for it lots of fun finding but so I have the built-in Bluetooth and um, um, I'll do that the built-in Bluetooth and airport which it's running on so without USB dongles of any kind which annoy me I don't know I just can't bear to part with it especially since it's still not slow I mean, it's processing a video, so keep this in mind, because it loads, because it loads things, I mean, you know, I don't know if this will actually work on, well, since we're processing those videos, as you can see, the processor is almost full capacity, but, um, you can watch... Um, geez, I don't want to piss anybody off by um, playing their video here. Um, yeah, it's not like I'm stealing their video, I'm just using them as an example. Uh, let's see, is this the guy with... I'm running iMovie 09 on this. I'm not, you know, I know people have problems with deinterlacing and all these other issues, but we'll see what the, um, I'll go back to iMovie 06 or try Final Cut Express, which Final Cut Express 4 was the last version of Final Cut Express, and it uh, still ran on these power PC. Playback. It'll play 720p, even 1080p. I mean, this monitor won't do 1080p, so I don't ever set them to play it. But it'll play full screen 720p YouTube videos in flash, perfectly, perfectly smooth. I mean, you can see though. I mean, you know, you know, it's 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 not it's not really that slow. I mean, you consider it's a wireless G.
again, consider this thing is, you know, working hard. This is processing video and it's still, it's still not slow. Let's open up something a little more intensive, like we could open up, um, Photoshop while, while it's processing Photoshop CS4. CS3 and CS4 on the C. I mean, while it's processing a video, it's still. Yeah, it's still capable of. Well, I don't know, we could have actually had it open up a. That's a better test. While processing a video, have it open up Photoshop. And then open up a photo in Photoshop. Which, um, So, I mean, it, it, you can see it, it, it's, it's still a very fast computer. Um, really nothing slow about it. But anyway, enough of my rambling if you've seen and watched it this long. I wouldn't blame me for tuning out.